That was reinforcement learning. And the next domain I want to just quickly tell you about is language modeling, which has uh, seen extraordinary progress. Here again, it's a very, very simple algorithm. All they have to do, it works as follows. Read some text and always try to predict the next word. I slipped because it was wet, the neural network says, most likely. But maybe the neural network thinks it might be icy, or maybe with a low percent chance, it might be oily. And then it reads the next word. And in this case, that was oily. And it says, OK, make that more likely next time. OK, so it just has to send that back. It updates those weights. And next time it, it reads a sentence like that, it will think it's more likely to be oily. Again, a very simple algorithm. But if you uh, let it read all of the text on the internet, it will do extraordinary things. Uh, so here's. Uh, one of the extraordinary things that I asked uh, it to do, this is a system called ChatGPT, which anybody can access. I'm sure many of you have played with it. And if you haven't, you should. It's really fun. You can tie these language models to image models as well. And now we can ask neural networks to, 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 show, to show us pictures of things that we might never see in the real world. Can you show me a picture of a brain scanner in the style of Van Gogh? And I think this is a a lovely image that maybe NeuroGazer may, may want to use. Or a photo of a cat and a mouse playing chess. So suddenly, over the last 10 years or so, people are making these neural network models work and do things that we could never have imagined. 